I'm Kevin Roberts, the author of Cyber Junkie and Movers, Dreamers, and Risk Takers. I'm also an educational consultant and I help parents and teachers become more effective at assisting children in the learning process. One of the things that can happen that can really interrupt the learning process is when a child does not like his or her teacher. The first place to begin in addressing this problem is to have an understanding that all individuals have unique perceptual preferences for taking in information, communicating with others, and interacting with the world around them. Mounds of research exist to show that teachers share many perceptual and communicative preferences. On the other hand, Students who have difficulty with teachers also share many traits in common. Overall, teachers are goal-oriented, highly motivated, and conscientious about their performance. On the other hand, students who do not like their teacher, students who have difficulty with teacher, tend to be creative, spontaneous, playful, and have a need for intensity and excitement. When I, I get a lot of this because I deal with a lot of ADHD people. I'm a specialist in that area and a lot of ADHD children think that their teacher doesn't like them and they certainly don't like their teacher. But a great deal of these conflicts can be understood in terms of understanding the perceptual and communication preferences of the people involved. So, you got to help from both ways. You have to teach the student, help the student understand that the teacher has a personality that is different and unique from his or hers. And on the other hand, the student and the teacher as well needs to understand that that student perhaps is creative, perhaps is spontaneous, perhaps is playful and needs intensity and excitement. In that way, the student who appreciates the, the underlying perceptual and personality preferences of the teacher can, be, can come to understand that it's not personal. The teacher can understand that that student is not, make, it's not personal toward the teacher. That student is just different. So you have to foster understanding from both sides. That will create greater toleration on the point of the student as well as the teacher. Now. That being said, I do place the burden of responsibility on the teacher. That teacher, understanding the differences in his or her student, needs to take steps to play to the strengths and preferences of that student. If you've got a playful student, talk in a funny voice. Give a high five. If you have a student who's creative, find ways of engaging that student in creative pursuits. If you have a student who's spontaneous, don't take it personally. Understand that that student, that's a character strength. Spontaneity is something that we need in the world. We need to see each other as unique and we need to see these conflicts in terms of underlying preferences of personality and perceptual reality. I'm Kevin Roberts. Thank you for watching.